the minimum number of equations required to analyze the circuit shown in figure is so we have one network given in the question and we are required to find the minimum number of equations to perform the analysis of this network there are four options given in the question and we are required to choose one correct option and if you remember the very first lecture on the method mesh analysis then in that lecture I gave you one formula to find out the minimum number of equations to perform the analysis of the network using the mesh analysis and the minimum number of equations E is equal to the total number of meshes in the network and the total number of meshes is equal to the number of branches minus the number of principal nodes minus 1. So this is the formula to find out the minimum number of equations to perform the analysis using the mesh analysis. But when you read the question, you will find nowhere it is written that we need to find the minimum number of equations to perform the mesh analysis. And therefore, to get the correct answer, we also have to check the number of equations required to perform the nodal analysis of the network. And in the first lecture of the nodal analysis, I gave you the formula to find out the minimum number of equations and the minimum number of equations E is equal to the number of principal nodes minus 1. So by using this formula, we can find out the minimum number of equations required to perform the analysis of the network using the nodal analysis method. So you can see that we need the total number of branches and the total number of principal nodes. And in our network, we have one branch here. This is one branch because in this wire, one element is there. And following the same definition, we can say that this is branch number two and this is branch number three this is branch number four this is branch number five this one here is branch number six this one is branch number seven and the final one is our branch number eight so now we know the number of branches is equal to 8 in this network and it's time to find out the number of principal nodes and we know what is a principal node a principal node is the common point of connection where more than two elements are connected for example this is our principal node let's call it n1 and this node is the node at which 1 2 and 3 elements are connected similarly this is our node 2 this is our node 3 and this node here is also node 3 because this wire is not having any element and therefore we can combine them and have a single node which is node number 3 this is our node number 4 and this one is node number 5 so the total number of principal nodes is equal to 5 now we will put these values in this equation and this equation from here we will have the number of equations equal to 8 minus 5 minus 1 when you solve it you will get the number of equations is equal to 4 and from here we will get the number of equations equal to 5 minus 1 that is e is equal to 4 
So we need four equations to perform the mesh analysis of this network and four equations to perform the nodal analysis of this network and therefore the answer is option B 4. Now consider one situation in which the number of equations required to perform the nodal analysis is equal to 3 but the number of equations required to perform the mesh analysis is equal to 4. In this particular situation the answer will be option A 3 because we are required to find the minimum number of equations required to analyze this circuit. It is not mentioned which particular method we have to use. So the answer will be 3. So I hope this problem is now clear to you and it's time to move to our homework problem. And the homework problem is taken from gate 2002 electrical paper. And in this problem, you are required to find the voltage between terminal A and terminal B. So you need to find VAB. Current equal to 1 ampere is entering. Current equal to 1 ampere is leaving. And all the resistor values are equal to 1 ohm. And there is one hint given in the problem. You may exploit the symmetry of the circuit. So try to solve this problem and once you have your answer post it in comment section and now I will end this lecture here see you in the next one.